new scary story. I'm turning off the lights on this one. That's what it looks like. These pictures I put together for the washing machine and dryer. A scary robot story. Give God the glory. Okay. It says, new scary robot story. It's called the washing machine and dryer. Part one, introduction. I always give Jesus Christ the glory for my creative mind. This original movie takes place in New Mexico. Maybe somewhere like Albuquerque. Chris and Cindy had been married for seven months. They were happy and love, but very depressed. <laughs> Uh, because they had so much debt, you know, credit cards and other things they had to pay down, but it was so much on them financially. One day, Chris tells his wife that he would get a loan big enough to pay off all their bills. Cindy likes the idea and they go to a cash store but they don't know that the owners of the building is secretly connected to criminals. Yeah, so there's bad guys who are affiliated with this store. It could be drug dealers, and other type of folks that you don't want to be friends with. Trust me. Mr. Rocks, the supervisor, gives the two lovers an offer they can't refuse. He agrees to give them $10,000 right away if they could pay it back in two years. With a minimum monthly fee of $417. Everything was fine at first. Chris was reliable and always took care of the bills. You could count on him. He was never late on payments or nothing. January to December was a long time. But Chris got extra hours on his job to help out. Yeah, thanks to God. Mr. Rock started to get impatient. Ah, these people are taking too long on my money. I want it now. He wanted the rest of the money that was due. Yep, Mr. Rock started to get impatient the following year. So the next year, as things start to slim down, Oh, well. But it's not the married couple's fault. They're trying their best to get the dough. Chris and Cindy made excuses, but true excuses. You know, they needed more time. They don't have much. They were lucky to get extra hours from their jobs. And that still wasn't enough for Mr. Rocks. He's no good. A jerk. But it didn't impress Mr. Rocks. Yeah, because Chris and Cindy, they told him they needed three more months. Plus, it was too early on the agreement that was made. And Mr. Rocks told him he was sorry for rushing. But he promised his new girlfriend a vacation to Hawaii. And he wanted cash right away. 
Chris and Cindy gave what they could, but they didn't impress Mr. Brax that much. So he tells them if they don't give him the money soon, that they will be in trouble. He's bluffing, but he'll do something to get under their skin. Mr. Rax has some young men follow Chris and Cindy to their house and kill them. It backfires. It don't go as planned because Chris was able to protect his beautiful wife from the bad guys and beat them up instead. So these guys got their guns. They're going after the two lovers, but Chris sees them and takes them out instead. Yep. Mr. Rax found out about it and he's mad. Urgh, my boys were unable to kill those idiots. Man, darn. That's what he's thinking, you know? Well, it's too bad. Okay. Mr. Rax showed his true colors, but he pretends that Chris is his friend. Chris finally gets the rest of the cash and pays off Mr. Rax, who is satisfied. But the old man gets greedy and wants $20 more since the married couple have good salaries. They make good money on their jobs. Chris thinks it's unfair, but he gives the additional dollars. Chris and Cindy feel relieved that they was free to go. But something didn't seem right, even after they finally pay off all the money, the rest of the money. Something gets to them, like, is it really over? Forget? Hmm. Mr. Rack says, okay, y'all good now. Goodbye. They're like, thank you. Thank you. And they go away. But something didn't seem right. Later that night, an unknown car stalks them on the road. Chris and Sydney, as they go down the street, they see a vehicle behind them. Who is that? They don't know. But it drives away after 10 minutes. Chris and Sydney sleeps in a motel. They decide not to go to their house but go to a motel just to be safe. So in the motel, they take a shower together. They make love, try to get these scary stalkers out of their mind, whoever they were, and just have a good time together. So Chris and Cindy, you know, they're doing their thing. They fall asleep, but someone gets to the motel, sneaks in their room, and murders them. Oh no, how sad. To be continued. Hope y'all like the story so far. Stay tuned for part two. And glory to God for the creativity. Yeah, yeah.